Yes. Hello, everybody. Arnon Barnes in the house for another words of wisdom. Words of wisdom on Wednesday with Arnon. Excited to be here. Looking forward to spend some time with you guys. And today's session uh, talk or get together. Um, I want to share with you guys something that come I come across quite often. Obviously, a lot of you know I do coaching, training, teaching. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So let's give everybody a moment to join. Timor, good to see you. Kyle, good to see you. Um, Hadir, um, yeah, Arun, great to see you guys. So we've got Instagram in the house. We've got uh, Facebook in the house. So let's get started. So first of all, a lot of you know I do coaching, uh, training, and I work with a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, business leaders from all over the world, right? And I'm truly blessed because I get to work with some really interesting uh, people who not only want to build great businesses, but want to create a lifestyle of financial freedom, uh, time freedom, and location freedom, right? And so... A lot of people uh, reach out to me, especially on Instagram, on Facebook, and they say to me, Arnon, I want some coaching. I want you to look at my business. I want you to look at my chess game. I want you to look at my chess set, and I want you to give me some feedback, right? Because we all have a blind spot, and that's probably the first thing I'd like to share with all of you. Renee, good to see you. Uh, Mikey, good to see you. Uh, Shlomi, good to see you, my friend. So what's really important is that a lot of people, first of all, don't acknowledge or openly admit that they have a blind, uh, bl a blind spot. We all have a blind spot. And so, first of all, you know, what you've got to understand is that the greatest athletes, the greatest players, um, you know, the highest performers on the planet, every single one of them has a coach has someone watching their chessboard, watching their chess game and giving them small tweaks, advice, bits of feedback in order for them to improve their game. Michael Jordan only became Michael Jordan because he had great coaches, because he had someone watching him. Um, Usain Bolt only became Usain Bolt because of... Uh, the coaches and people that he surrounded himself with. And so the first thing, uh, let's just get that very clear. Every single person, you, 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 me as well, him, her, him, 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 her too, we all have a blind spot. And the power of having a coach or someone on your team looking at your game and giving you points of feedback can be tremendous. Why? Because it can save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of frustration, and it can put a lot of money in your pocket as well. Obviously, depending if you're looking at a health coach or a business coach or a relationship coach. Uh, in my case scenario, I always work with business owners, business leaders, although I do take a holistic approach when I am working with people. But Let's dive right in and I want to share with you um, the concept or the uh, world of coaching in terms of reality versus expectations, right? So let me tell you, let's start with expectations. A lot of people think that coaching means that you hire someone, you bring someone in, in, in your team uh, to do the work for you. You bring in someone to actually do the push-ups for you. And that can't be the furthest thing from the truth, okay? When I work with an entrepreneur, when I'm working with a business owner, I make it very clear that I can give you strategy, I can give you tips, shortcuts, I can give you tools, I can help you improve your mindset, your mind power, but I absolutely can't give you two things. Number one, I can't give you hunger. I can't make you hungry. I can't make you want to win. Only you can do that, number one. And number two, the second thing I can't do is like I already said, I can't do your push-ups for you, right? And so for me, when I'm choosing my clients, 
listen carefully what I just said. When I am choosing the clients that I work with, they have to, have to, have to. Number one, they've got to be hungry. Because without hunger, nothing changes, number one. So they've got to be hungry, right? They're going to want to play a bigger game. They wanna, they've got to want to build a better business. They've got to want financial freedom, time freedom, location freedom. They've got, they've got to want that. I can't instill them with it. Yeah, I can make them excited about it. Yeah, I could get them... <coughs> I can get them... Um, uh, uh, more enthusiastic about it, but ultimately they have to get hungry. Rob, good to see you. Great to see you. Um, so first thing is when I'm working with any client, they've got to be hungry. They've got to bring that hunger to the table, that desire, and that willingness to win, step in their power and play a bigger game. That's really important. The second thing is they've got to be action takers. I speak about this in my book, right? Um, um, Rebel Entrepreneur. And I always say the greatest treasures on planet Earth are reserved for the action takers. And that is something that's so important. A lot of people come to me and they want coaching. They want to grow their business. They want to live a better life. But when it comes to taking action, they're not really big on taking action. And so if you want to make a difference on your life, on your family's life, on the community's life, on your city, on your country, on your province, if you want to make a massive impact, it ain't going to come by meditating or hoping or praying that things get better. At one point in time, you're going to have to get up off your ass and take action. Exactly, Mikey. You've got to be an action taker. It's very important. Yeah, thank you. And Rob says here, yeah, the fear issue. You know, I always ask people when I'm on stage, what is the single biggest thing that most that holds most people back? And it is fear, fear. And it's funny because a lot of people think that a lot of people have a fear of success, uh, have a fear of failure. You know, oh, I'm afraid to fail. I don't want to try because I'm afraid of failing. But from my experience, it's not actually having a fear of failure that holds people back. It's actually a fear of success. Because a lot of people are afraid of what happens if it actually works? What happens if I actually end up making a lot of money? What happens if I become famous? What happens if, you know, all of a sudden I get all this power and become influential and uh, people are afraid of the responsibilities that comes with being successful. And so a lot of people have this concept of thinking that one of the reasons they don't take action is because they're afraid of, of failing. But from my experience, if you dig deep, it's actually a fear of success because they're comfortable in their own shit. They understand their world. Even if they're struggling, even if they're suffering, they're comfortable with it. They know how to manage it. They know how to deal with it. And so I see that as, as, a, as, a, as a dream killer, if you will, the fear of success. Let's talk about another concept of uh, uh, coaching from an expectation standpoint to a reality standpoint. Another expectation a lot of people have uh, with coaching is they, they, they expect that the coach or the person they're going to work with is going to solve all their problems. And that, again, is the furthest thing from the truth. At the end of the day, a good coach is there as a soundboard, as a guiding light, if you will, to basically shape you or put you into the right direction. Um, a lot of people expect coaches, and I've seen this firsthand, coaches to have all the answers. And I think also as a coach, it is absolutely your responsibility, whether you're coaching your children, whether you're coaching, we're all coaches, right? We all have a degree of a coach within us. I always say we all have, we all have a teacher within us. We're all teachers. You might be teaching a colleague at work, you're teaching a, 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 a family member, teaching a child. So we all do at some level, different levels of coaching. 
One of the things that a lot of people have a hard time with, at least coaches that I've seen, is that if they don't know something, they pretend. And that, for me, is a really bad energy. And that's, that's I guess, why it's very difficult for a business coach to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. Because I'll be upfront and honest with you. Most coaches, good people, they've got good hearts, they've got good intentions, and they genuinely want to help you. But guess what? Some of these guys have never seen a million dollars in their life. And so when a coach stands on stage next to me, they have a hard time to, to keep up because I, w I didn't become a coach. I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman who's built several multi-million euro, multi-million dollar, multi-million pound businesses. But I got passionate about teaching. I got passionate about training. I got passionate about coaching and helping other people. But it came out of my own success. And a lot of people want to teach and train and coach because they're good people. They got good hearts, but they don't have the experience. So my next point is that when you're looking for a coach, again, expectation versus reality, your expectation is your coach has all the answers, but in reality, they don't. Not because they haven't read the books, but because they haven't lived it. And that's something really important. If you're going to choose a coach or someone that you're going to work with that's going to help you improve your game or help you play a bigger game, right? Then you're going to ask yourself, what has this person done? Does this person have the experience? Does this person have the bank account? Does this have, person have the relationship? Maybe you're looking for a relationship coach, right? You want someone that knows a lot about relationships, very important. You want a health coach. Don't get someone that's 200 kilos overweight. I'm, I'm exaggerating, obviously. Um, but get someone that is in their power, that is working it, living it, eating it, drinking it, and definitely knows about the topic you want to learn or master. Very important. Another thing that I've learned about coaching, my friends, is that a lot of people say they want help, but they actually don't. And this has been one of the hardest things for me, coaching and working with entrepreneurs and, and business leaders from all over the world, is one realization that I've had over the last pff, more than a decade of coaching and training at a world-class level, is that actually the world doesn't want to be healed. Some people are unconsciously happy stuck in their own shit. And so I share that with a heavy heart, but I found it to be true. And why can I say that is because sometimes when I'm teaching, when I'm training, when I'm coaching, sometimes I find myself wanting happiness, wanting success, wanting results for my clients, for my students more than they want it for themselves. And so because of that, I am very selective about who I work with, who I choose to spend time with, and how I invest my energy and my experience with. So yeah, Rob says, very true, true. it's just like compounding. Everybody knows it, but few have felt it and lived it, exactly. Guys, I just wanted to record this short video just to give you some, uh, 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 give you some ideas in terms of coaching. Uh, again, expectations versus reality. Um, I hope you guys are well. I hope you're feeling strong. Here in Europe, the sun is shining. We're having beautiful days. And uh, regardless of where you're at, regardless of what you're doing, uh, remember, we are blessed. Uh, if you're watching this right now, you are blessed. And just focus on the good. And whatever you need help on in life, right, whether it's in business, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in health, whether it's um, learning how to be a better speaker, presenter, how to grow your company, how to, you know, invest, what, whatever, whatever you are trying to master right now, remember, somebody else has already done it. So find people that have done it, that have mastered it, that live it. And go find what are the secret ingredients to make it happen. And I can tell you from my experience, having a coach, working with coaches throughout the years, um, some of my coaches have had moments where they've given me a big hug. Some of them have given me moments where they've kicked me up the ass. 
But equally, both were very important to take me and my game and my life to the next level so that I could live financially free, location free, and basically, you know, not answer to anyone. So if you're watching this now, remember you're great, you're powerful. I want to wish you a good week. Timo, great to see you. Rob, great to see you. Mikey, good to see you. And thank you all for joining me today. Next week, same time, same place. And I uh, wish you uh, a lot of strength. And until then, be strong, be powerful, but most importantly, be kind to yourself and others. Cheers.